Today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in an older game, Trajan from Stefan Feld. Now, I'm sure all of you have one of these games. Trajan is a game that I played for the first time around five years ago, and I didn't have a good first experience. Uh, the art wasn't attractive to me, the theme was so separate from the mechanisms, and the Mancala mechanism just didn't hook me. That's one of the main mechanisms of the game. Um, so I didn't return to it, I kind of disregarded it. And then recently a friend of mine got a copy and I was like, I want to give this another try. And I actually really enjoyed it. I didn't go into it with the same expectations that I did the first time. Uh, this time I was just going in for it, understanding that there were some neat mini games and puzzles in uh, Trajan, and I had a good time with it. My favorite mechanism, and, and now I'm able to actually talk about my favorite mechanism, my favorite mechanism in the game is actually the Mancala mechanism as it relates to the tiles. So in Trajan on your turn, you are picking up, you have this little Mancala thing, this player map, you're picking up all of the tokens from one of these pools, and then you're dropping off one token in every clockwise pool until you only have one token left, and that token indicates the action that you're going to take. So there are six different actions on this Mancala. Uh, so that in itself is cool. I, I love interesting action mechanisms, select, action selection mechanisms uh, that go beyond the idea of just like a checklist, a menu of actions. This is a lot more interesting to me. But Fell takes it to the next level because there are these tiles that you can buy. Here's one right here that says if you take an action um, within this pool where you have two pink tokens here, before you take that action, you get nine points. And then you lift up this tile, you, you toss that tile afterward, you're done with that tile. It's a one-time thing. Um, and they're all different abilities. They all do different things. Uh, and this is just awesome. I, I guess I should mention that they also come out in a very specific order. So you're not always deciding exactly where they go. There's kind of a, a place that the next one goes. What this does, in a game of lots of different options, this creates a really interesting puzzle for the players to fulfill. Uh, because you're not just act optimizing those other mini games that are on the board and optimizing them. You are always, as often as possible, trying to align your tokens so that you get the benefits on, uh, on these little tiles. And one of the reasons I really like this is that it, it was, like I said, it was my first time returning to Trajan for a long time. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I knew this was good. And so I created a, a large part of my strategy around trying to just simply meet the needs of these tiles. So there were many times where I didn't have an action that I was really particularly attracted to, but I had a, uh, a bonus tile that I was, I was able to complete based on where I had moved my tokens, where I had aligned my tokens, where I had planned ahead a little bit. And so I just took that action. And uh, I finished, I, I didn't lose the gameplay in that way, so I think it actually is a legitimate way to play to focus a significant portion of your strategy on accomplishing these token goals. Um, but it also just creates a really interesting puzzle. I think that the game itself could probably be more thematic, more interesting. Um, the mini games are solid, but they, it could be more thematic. But um, over here, the Mancala mechanism, the player map, that in itself just creates a really, really interesting puzzle to the game um, that I really, really enjoy. Uh, yeah, so that is Trajan. I'm curious if you have a favorite mechanism in Trajan that you'd like to talk about, or if you have an example of a game that you tried a long time ago, went into it, and then returned to it and saw it in a different light and really ended up enjoying it. I'd love to hear about that in the comments as well. Thanks!